Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your DualSense Edge controller to your PC. This is for non-Steam games, guys. Let me repeat that one more time. This is for non-Steam games. So if you purchase a game through a publisher such as Battle.net or Epic Games or Ubisoft, this is a video for you. So what we're going to first do is you're going to open Steam. Guys, hold up, hold up. Don't not click out the video. We're not going to go through Steam settings, okay? We're not going to go through their settings, configure the controller. That's not what we're doing. You've probably seen that video already on YouTube. That's not what we're going to do. We're not trying to use Steam as a way to use the controller, but you're going to use Steam to download an app. This app is crucial for the controller to work. No other app works. So a lot of you guys probably have DS4 Windows. Sorry, there is no compatibility with DualSense Edge controller with that app at the moment. So it's not going to work. Also, if you're using Rewasp, there is no compatibility with that app either. And also, if you're using Input Mapper, there is no compatibility with that either. So this is the only app in the right now that you can use to use your DualSense Edge controller uh, with your PC. So make sure you type in DSX. This will pop up in the app is five dollars you're gonna have to pay five bucks so guys you're gonna have to cough up the five bucks if you want to use your dual sense edge now or you could wait for these other developers like ds4 windows to get it up and working but who, who knows how long that's gonna take uh but if you want to use your controller now make sure you buy this app once you buy it install it and you're gonna be greeted with a window not this window it's gonna, it's gonna be a little pop-up and it's gonna say to install the drivers make sure you install those drivers once you install that you should be good to go and not good to go fully okay okay so you're gonna have to follow these next steps so if if you don't get the pop-up to install the drivers you're gonna get like another like message like this it's gonna say to install the drivers just click it install them okay that's you need the drivers okay also look to your left left side make sure there's an established connection it'll show up as connected green also you're gonna want to come up here to controller emulation and change that to dualshock 4 once you do that, you're going to notice that your controller is good to go. I'm hitting R1, triangle, circle, X, joysticks are up and running. Everything works fine. Um, do not exit that app. So let's just run it back real quick. What we did was go to Steam. We downloaded this app. Okay, we downloaded the drivers. We make sure there's a connected connection with our DualSense Edge. And we change this to DualShock. Once you do all that, you're going to want to minimize this. Uh, try this in one of your games. Open up COD. Uh, first thing you're, you're going to notice, you're going to start up a game. You're going to notice a lot of you guys are going to notice that your right stick isn't working. That is because the app doesn't establish a connection with the game properly. So it won't, meaning it won't set up your controller as the default device. So it's probably going to show up as mouse. So make sure you go to controller uh, and uh, change that to controller. Go to your input device into controller. And once you do that, it should work. Okay. And that's for any other game um and yeah man your controller should be up and running everything should work also you guys are probably gonna have questions if the app is compatible or if it works with adapted triggers there is some function but not fully there uh the developer said he's working on adding the paddles function the paddle function where you could go in there and change the paddles uh to whatever key you want it to work with triangle circle whatever you want so he's working on that who knows how long that's gonna take uh but it should be up soon so this is currently the only app you can use guys the only way you can use also i am working on a review for dualsense edge controller i am doing a full comparison with the scuff reflex fps so i'll let you know which one's the best controller at the moment um i am testing tested both controllers i am going in full detail guys i am weighing the controllers i am doing some tests with this controller like if you really want to know if this controller is good or if you should buy a different controller i will let you know so if you are interested in that video it should be going out uh later this today today or tomorrow okay um just want to let you guys know and if this app if this was helpful guys please like and subscribe like and subscribe to the channel uh for more videos like this and also if you want to watch the review and full-on comparison uh of the dual sense edge and the scuff controller okay see you guys on the next one peace